Hey, thanks for jumping on to It's Relational. My name is Mike Hammer, and we're all about helping people improve their relationships. And one of the ways that we're doing that is by teaching people how to simply ask great questions. Because when you ask a great question, you get a great answer. And I've got three great questions specifically geared towards Memorial Day weekend. So maybe you have some kind of family gathering, some function, or maybe a road trip. Pull these out and it'll add so much meaning to your conversations. Now, if you're enjoying all this content that we're putting out, make sure you hit the little subscriber button down there and then turn on your notification, that little happy little bell like that kind of feel like Bob Ross, <laughs> you'll be glad that you did because then you won't miss out on any content coming out each and every week. In fact, in the description below, I've got a number of videos, six different videos with, with a bunch of great questions that, again, will add a lot of meaning to your conversation. Now, uh, I know great questions work because I've always been a guy that, man, I have, I've had a lot of thoughts and feelings on the inside, but <laughs> I've struggled to get them out. And Great questions have become like a key that unlocks all those things that are already in there. And as we've raised our family and we've grown our marriage, great questions have played such a big role. We pull them out uh, on vacation times at family gatherings, and they just add so much meaning to our conversation. So I know they work because the people around you, they don't necessarily need everything that's in your head, but they need what's in your heart. And great questions unlock the door of your heart for sure. Okay, how about the first great question? Again, this one kind of deals with Memorial Day weekend. Have you ever had to deal with the death of someone that you truly loved? And if you can, just take a moment and kind of talk a little bit about your grieving process and how that's gone for you. Second question is this, and again, it's gonna jog your memory. If you could rewrite the history of your life, what would you do differently? Whew, that's a good question. And then the last one is a little more forward looking. In 10 years, I hope I, and then finish the sentence. All right, I know these great questions will help you again in the description. There's many, many more questions for you to use. But until next time, keep improving those relationships.